The year was 2019. In the heart of Guanajuato, an elite team of 12 Mexican Special Forces soldiers embarked on a covert mission shrouded in mystery. Their objective, infiltrate the enigmatic Sierra's forest, known to conceal a notorious narcotics operation. Their orders were clear, apprehend the targets, utilizing deadly force if necessary. Little did they know that this night would etch itself into their collective memory, haunting them for years to come. As the team set up camp on the first night of their deployment, an eerie atmosphere enveloped them. Strange, unsettling noises emanated from the depths of the forest, like agonized cries piercing through the darkness. Their initial assumption was that the cartel might be inflicting unspeakable torment on someone, a grim reminder of the gravity of their mission. However, doubt began to creep in. Some soldiers swore that these unearthly sounds didn't bear any resemblance to human suffering. They were far more sinister, almost otherworldly, with unanswered questions. Deciding to regroup and reconvene in the morning, they reluctantly retired for the night, their senses heightened and nerves on edge. With the break of dawn, they sprang into action, eager to unravel the mysteries of the previous night. As they ventured deeper into the forest, a profound stillness enveloped them. The once vibrant symphony of nature had fallen silent. No birds, no crickets, no rustling leaves. Only the resounding echo of their boots treading through the woods remained, intensifying the sense of foreboding. The eerie silence set their teeth on edge, but they found no traces of the enigmatic nocturnal disturbances. Their destination, the suspected drug operation, presented itself as an abandoned husk, as if it had been evacuated mere hours before their arrival. With frustration simmering and tension mounting within the team, they decided to take an unfamiliar, shorter route back to their extraction point. As fate would have it, nightfall descended upon them, and they stumbled upon a cave that offered temporary shelter. Hours slipped by, and as the clock struck 3 a.m., a soldier jolted awake to a harrowing realization. The same inhuman, bone-chilling sounds had returned, and this time they were ominously closer, lurking in the shadows, ready to rewrite their destiny. Remote cavern, the twelve elite members of the Mexican Army Special Forces suddenly jolted upright, their senses tingling with unease. An eerie, demented cacophony echoed around them, sending shivers down their spines as they desperately tried to pinpoint its origin. Panic set in as the disturbing sounds drew nearer, and the realization dawned upon them that the source lay deep within the bowels of the cave. In that tense moment, they faced a harrowing decision. Flee swiftly through the treacherous wilderness under the cover of night, or confront the enigmatic source of these inhuman cries. Dividing into two teams, six war warriors chose to stand their ground at the cave entrance, while the other six ventured deeper into the cavern's abyss. Their flashlights cut through the darkness, casting eerie reflections on the cave's slick, wet walls. With every step, they meticulously scanned and cleared each new chamber. Then, as their beams of light pierced a particularly shadowy corner, they were met with a shocking revelation. No longer were they gazing at the cold stone walls. Instead, their light revealed a nightmarish sight, sleek and scaly, with a lizard-like visage and clawed appendages. These creatures loomed like giants, matching the stature of professional basketball players. To their horror, these grotesque beings were not alone. Another, seemingly female creature slithered nearby, displaying an agility no human could fathom. They stealthily traversed the cavern, evading the probing beams of light. The team of six stood frozen, their training ill-prepared for such unearthly horrors. The tension reached a breaking point when one of the creatures unleashed a bone-chilling screech, echoing the same haunting sounds that had tormented them all along. It acted as a sinister signal, for in perfect unison, multiple reptilian monstrosities emerged from the shadows, converging upon the desperate soldiers. Fear gripped their hearts, and the team began a frenzied retreat toward the cave's entrance. Yet the relentless pursuit drew agonizingly close. In a moment of sheer desperation, one soldier turned to face their pursuers, his weapon blazing as he opened fire. The cavern became a battleground, with a line between the supernatural and human blurred, and the fate of these brave warriors hung in the balance. The soldier opened fire as they attempted to flee. The nightmarish encounter left the soldiers shaken and bewildered. Bullets made contact, but to their horror, it was as if the creature's skin or attire was impenetrable. Trapped deep in the cave, the soldiers fought desperately, but were overwhelmed one by one, their limbs torn apart by the relentless reptilian assailants. Only two managed to escape, racing to the cave's entrance to alert their remaining comrades. The surviving six Special Forces soldiers formed a defensive perimeter while radioing for air support and reinforcements, their hearts pounding. Relief washed over them when the sound of approaching helicopters pierced the tension-filled silence. However, that relief turned to unease as they realized the helicopters lacked any identifiable insignias, cloaked in ominous black. Eight mysterious figures emerged, clad in advanced metallic armor and polarized visors that concealed their faces. Their voices, strangely filtered, ordered the Mexican soldiers to stand down. The enigmatic newcomers ventured into the cave, where moments later, the same inhuman sounds resonated, followed by eerie, low-vibrational energy blasts that replaced the familiar gunfire. Six of the unidentified operatives 
emerged, carrying two injured teammates and two lifeless reptilian bodies. Before departing into the darkness, the operatives approached the Mexican Special Forces commanding officer, revealing that they operated on behalf of the Mexican government. They issued a stern warning, emphasizing their knowledge of the soldiers' identities and the importance of silence. The helicopters vanished, leaving the bewildered soldiers to grapple with the inexplicable events of that night. Some resigned immediately, while others remained, their every move watched closely. In time, a select few shared their harrowing account under strict anonymity with a reporter. Those who stayed were reassigned to new roles, while the rest became private bodyguards. This eerie encounter was just one among many stories that spoke of reptilian humanoids. Their origins remained a mystery, with some suggesting extraterrestrial ties, while others believed they were indigenous beings that had evolved from Earth's prehistoric past, hiding underground, their descendants surviving in secrecy.